This room is... The healing room. It seems it's used for rest and healing. Not healing physical injuries per se, but to recover from mental fatigue. No good. It's locked. Then we're trapped in here? Seems like it. 1805. We got knocked out at 1330, so it appears we've been down for four and a half hours. Hmm. Something doesn't feel right. What? Can we say for sure that this is really the first time we woke up? Then you mean we might have been awake several times already? The amnesia drug would have made us forget each one if we had. No, that's not it. I mean... Maybe not vertically, but laterally. Like, horizontal. <laughs> well, there's no point to talking more about it here, anyway. You're right. We need to find some way out of this room first. On it.
What is this? Looks like a button. Guess we should push it. Dumbass! Can't you read? Warning, do not press this button. Pretty intense for just one button. Then, what exactly are we supposed to do? We've checked out this entire room. There's nothing here that looks remotely like it to unlock the door. The one thing we haven't investigated is... this button here. Okay, I'm gonna push it. Wait! Hold on! What? You're hearing going? I told you there's a warning on it. So what? There is a warning sign saying don't leave this room. Does that mean you'd stay? It's just an empty threat. If we really weren't meant to push it, then it'd never be put here in the first place. What if it's a trap? A trap? It's human nature to want to press it after being told not to. This setup is just bait. By giving us this warning, Zero's plan is to manipulate us into pushing it. What if we do then? Something bad will happen. And that would be what? I don't know. Maybe one or all of us die. That's ridiculous. Um, may I interject? If this really is a button meant to kill us somehow, why would Zero put something like that in the open? Don't you think that's strange? There are several other ways Zero could make us die. Exactly. Like maybe putting poison in our bracelets. There's no need for him to use this button to go about doing the deed. It's a game. What? Remember what Zero told us? It's a decision game. Our fates will change depending if we decide to press it. Or if we don't. Anyway. I think we shouldn't do it. It's a stalemate if we don't. We'll never get out of this room. Yeah, even if that's true, it's better than our lives not advancing any further than this. We're getting nowhere. Shall we take a vote? I say we should push it. I vote that we don't touch it. What about you, Diana? I... I... No way to know what will happen if you don't press it, right? Listen to me, Diana. Don't even think about touching it.
Zero's telling us not to push it. We need to do the opposite. Don't forget, he's the enemy. I've got a bad feeling about this. A really bad feeling. What if there's a bomb and this button turns off the timer? If we don't push it, then we're goners for sure. Don't press it, Diana. Push it. You have to push it. You can't. You mustn't. Push it! The door! It opened. See? Didn't I tell you? It opened because we didn't touch the button? It's the only thing that makes sense. Hey, not necessarily. The door might have opened if we had pushed it anyway. We don't know. Ugh, stubborn man. Um, anyway, we should go. The door might close if we take too long to get out of here. Sigma, how old are you really? My body's 22. My mind, well, by now it must be almost 67. 67? You remember, right? I told you my consciousness came from 2074. Does that mean you were 67 there in the future? The details are a little more complex than that. But that's more or less correct. So is it the same thing with five? Yes, it's the same. She came back from the year 2074, too. With one difference, her mind's still young. She must still be around 20 years old. That would mean she was born approximately 2054. No. She was born in 2008. Huh? But the math doesn't... From April 2029 to January 2074, she's been asleep inside of a pod. A what? A device that is capable of placing someone into cold sleep. There's 45 years of blank, nothing stuck inside her mind. So that's why she still thinks like a 20 year old. But how? How what? How is it possible for you and Phi to come back to this time? The shift phenomena. Shift? It's short for space time human internal fluctuating transfer. Essentially, it's when a human consciousness is sent through time and space. For example, ah, yes, we can use the button from earlier. We didn't push that button, and we're here right now. However, there's a world where we did push it somewhere in this time space. This world, this history, infinitely branches off as a result of momentary decisions. There are other yous, other me's, and other fi's. All of them exist in those different histories. Shift is the phenomenon which allows us to send our consciousnesses to them. This is difficult to take in all at once. It's the truth. Still, if you don't explain to me how it does whatever it does... So you want to know what it is exactly? I'll sum it up in one sentence. I don't know. Uh, really now? Did I come across as if I didn't care? This is the conclusion I reached after 45 years of consideration. I know how shift works, but as to why the phenomenon happens... Wait! Did you just say you know how shift works? Yeah. Uh, how does it then? Two things are required. Innate abilities and danger to one's life. Basically, when a person with this ability faces a life-threatening crisis, that's when shift kicks in. Both you and Phi have this strange ability? A lot of odd, inexplicable things happened to me when I was a kid. One winter, my friends and I went fishing and I slipped, falling into the water. I woke up under the blankets on my bed. It was the next day. When I saw my friends at school, I asked them what happened yesterday. One of them spoke up and said, You blew us off. You promised to come fishing, but you up and canceled on us. There's more. 
about to get run over by a car once and found myself in the school gym. I fell off the roof only to wake up on the school bus. Things like that. Of course, at the time I had no idea what was going on. I just believed they were extremely vivid dreams. But now I know. I had shifted to another world in another history. Where's Fi, by the way? Huh? Oh, she's gone. I saw her over with Gab just a minute ago. Now announcing the current casualties. C Team, Carlos, Akane, Junpei. Q Team, Eric. These four are now deceased. As a result, four X-Passes will be revealed. Fire, crash, five, ice. That is all. No! Four people are dead? What the hell happened? They were executed. Executed? From the vote at 1330. Because of the outcome, the three and C team... But wait, that's weird. When you voted back then, you chose Q team. Are you sure? Huh? Did I really vote for Q-Team? What are you saying? I don't remember. I don't remember which team I voted for then. But that can't be. We weren't injected with the amnesia drug afterwards. I know, but still... Wait, hold on. There's another possibility. Maybe the three teams really did split the votes equally. All teams should have survived without dying in that case. But... They're... I know. I'm just saying that maybe C Team was all killed because of something else. They could have gotten into a big argument and then killed each other. No. But why would they do that? Can't say I have any idea. Still, can't we say the same thing goes for what you believe? There's no evidence to support the idea that C Team was executed. You don't even know if they're actually dead. Wrong. I'm pretty sure there's no mistake. C Team really was executed. How do you know? I know because I just did. Then what about Eric? How did he die? I. What in the hell? No. Who the hell did this? In Ward Q, there's... There's only Mira and... What? This doesn't seem like a blackout. I just slow you down. You, you're wounded. Just go. Hurry! Now's your chance. What? Get by here. Hurry and go.
There! Sigma! Sigma, please hang on! Oh, it's you, Luna. Luna? I'm sorry that it came to this, Luna. The me from the past won't be coming back here. My shift connection's been cut. I'm sorry. Now you won't be born in this world. What are you saying, Sigma? I... I'm... No. Not just you, Luna. Kyle. Lagomorph. The others. But maybe it's better this way. History's changed. Mankind. This world. Will surely be... Escape here, Diana. If I die, you can. What are you saying? You can't die. I'm so sorry, Pi. I. I. It's. Okay. It's okay. As long as you survive.